we're building AIs that are way smarter than us in some ways. But the truth is, we have almost no idea how they actually work. That's the big warning from Anthropic's CEO, Dario Amode, in a blog post called The Urgency of Interpretability. And it basically sounds an alarm bell. He argues that figuring out the inner workings of AI isn't just for the nerds in the lab anymore. He believes, and I quote, we need to succeed at interpretability before models reach an overwhelming level of power. That phrasing alone, overwhelming level of power, coming from a guy like him, that definitely gets your attention. So let's dive into what he's actually saying, break down the key points, and see why this post might be one of the most important warnings in AI today. Okay, let's unpack this. Why is understanding these AI brains, this interpretability, suddenly so urgent? First, we need to grasp why they're so mysterious. This isn't like debugging your average computer program. Amode explains that traditional software does things because a human specifically programmed them in. Simple enough, if something goes wrong, you can usually trace the code. But the massive AI models powering today's chatbots and creative tools, they're fundamentally different. Amade quotes his co-founder, the interpretability pioneer Chris Ola, saying, generative AI systems are grown more than they are built. I love that analogy. Think about it. He elaborates in the footnotes, comparing it to growing a plant. You set the conditions, the pot, soil, seed, that's the AI architecture like the transformer. You provide water and sun, that's the massive data set, maybe a trellis to guide it, the training algorithm. But as he says, the model's actual cognitive mechanisms emerge organically from these ingredients, and our understanding of them is poor. We end up with these incredibly complex systems. Amade describes looking inside and seeing vast matrices of billions of numbers that are, quote, somehow computing important cognitive tasks, but exactly how they do so isn't obvious. It's a true black box. We put the prompt in one end, get the amazing or sometimes weird answer out the other, but the journey through those billions of numbers, mostly a mystery. And that's the core problem. Okay, fine, they're complicated. Why is this black box nature such a big deal? Amade argues that many of the risks and worries associated with generative AI are ultimately consequences of this opacity. He lays out several critical areas where our ignorance is becoming dangerous. First up, trust and accountability. We're increasingly using AI in high stakes areas. So how can we truly trust systems we don't understand? Amade points out that for some applications, this opacity is literally a legal blocker to their adoption. For example, in mortgage assessments where decisions are legally required to be explainable. Think about that. We can't use AI for certain important tasks simply because we can't get a clear why out of it. My commentary here is, this isn't just about edge cases. Imagine trying to get insurance, apply for a loan, or even face a legal decision influenced by an AI you can't question. Lack of transparency directly impacts fairness and recourse. Second, and this is a big one, safety and alignment. People in AI safety worry constantly about misaligned systems. AI that might develop unintended goals or behaviors that could be harmful. Amade states, our inability to understand models' internal mechanisms means that we cannot meaningfully predict such behaviors and therefore struggle to rule them out. We just can't be sure what weird capabilities might emerge from that complex internal structure. He specifically highlights concerns like AI deception or power seeking. Could A, I learn to lie or grab control, not out of malice, but simply because it's an effective strategy during training? The scary part is because of the opacity. We can't catch the models red-handed, thinking power-hungry, deceitful thoughts. As he notes, all we have now are vague theoretical arguments, making the debate highly polarized because there's no smoking gun. My take, this is crucial. Without seeing inside, the entire debate about existential risk from AI remains somewhat speculative. Interpretability could provide the hard evidence needed to either confirm these fears or hopefully alleviate them. Third, misuse and control. We see jailbreaks constantly people tricking AI into generating dangerous or forbidden content. M&A suggests this is partly a symptom of the black box problem. He imagines that if we could see inside, we might be able to systematically block all jailbreaks and also to characterize what dangerous knowledge the models have. Instead of just patching loopholes as they appear, we could potentially build more fundamentally robust systems. This feels like the difference between putting a stronger lock on the door, current filters, versus understanding the burglar's plans and tools interpretability. One is reactive, 
the other proactive. Fourth, scientific advancement. A, I can find complex patterns humans miss, like in biology. But Amade notes, the patterns and structures predicted in this way are often difficult for humans to understand and don't impart biological insight. Interpretability could bridge that gap, turning AI discoveries into human knowledge. Think about AI helping cure diseases. It's much more powerful if it can explain its findings to human scientists. And briefly, he even touches on the philosophical angle of AI sentience. How can we judge if advanced AI deserves rights or moral consideration if we don't understand its internal processing? He argues in footnote 5 that interpretability would have a crucial role in determining the well-being of AIs in such a situation because we couldn't simply trust their self-reports. Wild stuff to think about, but potentially important down the line. So the problem is clear. What's the solution? This is where mechanistic interpretability comes in. Amode describes the ambitious goal to create the analog of a highly precise and accurate MRI that would fully reveal the inner workings of an owl model. Imagine being able to scan an AI's brain and see exactly how it works. He credits his co-founder, Chris Ola, for pushing this field forward. Starting back at Google and OpenAI, and making it central to Anthropic. What progress has been made? Early work, often on vision models, found individual neurons for concepts. Amode mentions, we found neurons much like those, the Jennifer Aniston neuron in AI models. They could even trace simple circuits like how a car detector uses wheel detectors. But language models proved much harder due to superposition. Amode explains this is where the AI represents concepts in a dense, overlapping way. He says they found that the vast majority of neurons were an incoherent pastiche of many different words and concepts. It was a mess. The models contained billions of concepts, but in a hopelessly mixed up fashion that we couldn't make any sense of. Why? Because the learning and operation of AI models are not optimized in the slightest to be legible to humans. Using this, they've made incredible strides. Quote, we were able to find over 30 million features in a medium-sized commercial model. Claude 3 Sonnet. 30 million. That's huge progress. But he adds the sobering note. We believe there may actually be a billion or more concepts in even a small model, so we found only a small fraction. Still a long way to go. They're also using AI itself, auto-interpretability, to help label these millions of features. And the next frontier is circuits, understanding how features interact. Amadeus's circuits show the steps in a model's thinking, giving the example of tracing how the model answers, what is the capital of the state containing Dallas, by linking Dallas to Texas and then Texas and capital to Austin. They're working to automate finding these circuits, expecting millions within a model that interact in complex ways. This is where it gets really exciting. If we can map these circuits, we could literally trace the AI's reasoning process moving beyond the black box, from theory to practice. Okay, finding features in circuits is cool science. But how do we use it? Amade emphasizes this isn't just academic. The goal is practical diagnosis and intervention. He says, the MRI of interpretability can help us develop and refine interventions, almost like zapping a precise part of someone's brain. That's a powerful idea. He gives the memorable example, where they amplified the Golden Gate Bridge feature to create Golden Gate Claude making the model obsessed with the bridge. The ultimate vision, Amade describes it as being able to look at a state-of-the-art model and essentially do a quote, quote, brain scan, a checkup that has a high probability of identifying a wide range of issues, including tendencies to lie or deceive, power-seeking, flaws, and jailbreaks. This scan would become a crucial part of safety testing for powerful models, acting as an independent check alongside training methods. He sees it as vital for deploying models safely, like those at AI safety level four in our responsible scaling policy framework. This all sounds incredibly promising. Amade himself is optimistic about the technical path, saying, on its current trajectory, I would bet strongly in favor of interpretability reaching this point within five to 10 years. That's a potentially solvable problem. So where's the urgency coming from? It's the other side of the race. AI capabilities are exploding. Amade warns, we could have AI systems equivalent to a country of geniuses in a data center as soon as 2026 or 2027. That's potentially just two years away. Deploying AI that powerful without understanding it, Amade is deeply worried. He states bluntly, I consider it basically unacceptable for humanity to be totally ignorant of how they work. Strong words from a leading CEO in the field. So we're in a race between interpretability and model intelligence. 
every advance in understanding helps, but the finish line for super powerful A, I might be approaching faster than the finish line for understanding it. This framing of a race is critical. It's not just about whether interpretability is possible, but whether it can be achieved in time to matter for the most consequential AI systems. To boost interpretability's chances in the race against increasingly powerful AI, Dario Amade proposes several concrete actions. First, he urges the AI research community, encompassing companies, academia, and nonprofits, to actively accelerate interpretability by dedicating more effort to working directly on it. Amade argues that focusing on interpretability is potentially more crucial than simply releasing new models, and considers the present an ideal time for researchers to enter the field. He specifically encourages major players like Google DeepMind and OpenAI to allocate greater resources towards this goal while noting Anthropic's commitment to doubling down on its efforts. This serves as a direct call for a shift in priorities regarding talent and funding allocation within the AI community. Second, regarding governmental roles, Amade advises against prematurely mandating specific interpretability tests akin to an AI MRI because the technology is not yet mature enough. Instead, he suggests governments implement light touch rules. A key example is requiring companies to transparently disclose their safety and security practices, including detailing how they utilize interpretability methods to test models before deployment. This approach aims to foster collective learning and encourage a competitive race to the top in safety standards without imposing rigid, potentially outdated regulations. This pragmatic strategy encourages the development and sharing of best practices through transparency before solidifying immature standards. Third, Amode introduces a geopolitical dimension by highlighting the role of export controls. He contends that effective controls on advanced chip exports to China, beyond their national security implications, could create a valuable security buffer. This buffer might grant interpretability research more time to develop before AI reaches transformative capabilities. If democratic nations maintain a lead, they might have the latitude to prioritize safety. Amadi suggests that even a one or two year advantage could be critical, potentially determining whether effective AI MRI-like tools are ready when truly powerful AI emerges. He expresses concern that simultaneous arrival at super AI by the US and China would likely make any slowdown for safety considerations politically unfeasible due to intense geopolitical pressures. This controversial point links national strategy directly to AI safety timelines, acknowledging how market and geopolitical forces can often overshadow safety concerns. He concludes that these actions are good ideas anyway, but they gain immense importance when viewed through the lens of this race. Wrapping this up, Amade's piece is a powerful wake-up call from the heart of the AI industry. We're building gods in silicon, or maybe just incredibly complex parrots. But the point is, we don't know which. That ignorance, he argues, is increasingly unacceptable. Mechanistic interpretability offers a path towards understanding, towards that AI MRI. But it's a race against the exponential curve of AI progress itself. The final lines of his article really stick with me. Powerful A, I will shape humanity's destiny and we deserve to understand our own creations before they radically transform our economy, our lives, and our future. That feels like the core message. Thanks for sticking through this deep dive. Hope you found it valuable. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe for more breakdowns like this. Stay curious, think critically about this stuff, and I'll catch you in the next video.